What is up, Carolina Rebellion? Once again, here this time with Alter Bridge. How you guys doing? Good, man. How about yourself? Awesome. Really good. So, uh, real quick, introduce yourself to our viewers and what you guys do, real quick. Scott Phillips. I play the drums. Brian Marshall, bass guitar. All right, awesome. So, Carolina Rebellion, how's it treating you guys? You guys play a little bit later today. So, uh, what are you guys doing? You know, till then. Uh, a whole lot of what we're doing right now. <laughs> um, we uh, we got in this morning. Um, did a, uh, uh, I Mark and I did a brief signing over at the. Uh, Musician experience ten or whatever that was. Okay. Um, here we're gonna go watch some bands. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna play for about forty five minutes and then go watch some more bands and okay. hang out. Yeah, I have a feeling you guys have a lot of friends on this tour, uh, not tour, but this festival. So uh, who, yeah. who are you guys uh, most stoked for? Um. Uh, well, I think I'm probably most stoked for Little Ty True Hillo. You okay. Know? I think he's <laughs> he's gonna be up there with Corn tonight. I'm excited to see him. Um, he's he should probably be in school, but he is playing. It's a school. Saturday, bro. <laughs> it's, a true. Yeah. it's a Saturday. It is a Saturday. Yeah. Maybe he did. Maybe he flew out this morning. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for him. Uh, I'd like to see Rival Sons. I'm excited about seeing Tesla at 6:30. So yeah, I'm a big classic, classic rock fan. So those okay. guys have been around a while and an epic band. All right, sweet. So uh, you know, it's it's a festival with different genres. You know, you guys, you know, more of the rock scene. And you got bands mm -hmm. like. You know, Wage War, but yesterday he's more of the metalcore type sure. thing. So, uh, you, how do you, you know, what's it like bringing those two worlds together? Are there any bands in those genres that you guys personally enjoy seeing, or, or are you guys more of the rock variety? Uh, a little bit of everything. I don't, I don't know a whole lot of the bands yeah. that are in that scene, but I'm, you know, from what I've heard, I'm, I'm fans of it. Um, okay. You know, we, we were just actually just sort of discussing this a minute ago. Is, is that's one of the things that's really cool about a festival like this is you've got. You know, it's rock and roll, but there's such a wide gamut of rock. Why yeah. just limit it to all one style? Um, so the fact that you've got, if it's metalcore or, you know, straight up metal, Swedish metal like In Flames, yeah. you know, guys like that, <laughs> which they're on, on tour with us when we're not doing the uh, um, the festival weekends. Uh, and I've known those guys for a long time and have been friends with them. So, you know, it's cool to have... A blend of that that comes together. Uh, you've got classic rock and you know a Tesla and a Def Leppard. You yeah. Corn, um, uh, who I've become friends with a few of the guys uh, over the years. Um, you know, that was a band that came out. You know, right when we were first sort of starting to to play together, and you know what a huge album "Follow the Leader" was, and, and uh, you know just the way that sort of change the uh the shape of of rock yeah you know so okay. to, to get to you know come out and hang out with those guys and yeah watch them as well is really really cool okay i don't want to show your age, you guys age too much but i was a freshman in high school when i got your first album and stuff and so like there you, go. you know so uh i was you know hooked onto it it was a really good sound and stuff and you guys put out a new album last year and so mm -hmm. How have you guys, I guess, progressed through the years musically, and have you got? How have you guys continued to push yourselves creatively to keep put, putting out albums and all that stuff? Well, I think naturally, as a band and as a performer, as a musician, um, individually, you just want to push. You want to push yourself. Yeah. You know, creatively, and um, you know, musically as a band, you, you're always just trying to um, to better better from the, from your previous efforts. You know, so. Um, just, just pushing ourselves and 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 creating new, new peaks and valleys and songs, and, yeah. and just trying to push the envelope a little bit and, and and do something a little bit different, but still not stray away from your you know your core sound. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, during that time though, when that album came out, the first one up until now, you know, a lot of change of like CD sales, streaming, downloading. So, sure. what have you guys done, I guess, marketing wise or as a band, business wise, to adapt to the changing climate of the music industry? Where it's going more from CDs to streams, downloads, that kind of thing. Um, you know, for a while, CD sales have, have well, obviously declined, but you know, I guess for for us, you know, just to be able to. To come out, you find other ways to sort of generate a revenue stream to, to allow you to still be able to do this. Yeah. Um, if it's with uh, you know limited edition type stuff, uh, you know, giving the fan a greater experience at a live show. If it's a you know like personal meet and greets and and uh, 
you know, priority to get to the merch booth first or any of that kind of stuff. Just to, to try to, you know, live music, I think, is really what we all kind of did this for to begin with. Okay. Um, and to, you know, allow us to continue to do that and just find different ways to to make it fun for somebody to come out and see a show and want to continue coming out to see yeah. shows. Okay. Playing for all those fans and stuff throughout the years across the world, mm-hmm. how has your view of the world changed from when you guys were, I guess, first starting way back in the day before you saw the world up until now after experiencing different countries and, and people, even in, in America and stuff? Uh, people are people, man. I, <laughs> I think, you know, at the end of the day, you, you certainly everybody has a mindset, you know, of what something's going to be like until you actually go there and you're like, ah, it's just like everywhere else, mm-hmm. you know. It's everybody... Yeah. You know, trying to make it through this life without harming each other, hurting each other, or, you know, hopefully making a positive impact. And, and you meet a lot of people like that through your our daily travels. Okay. This guy is <laughs> such a sweetheart. Well, what about you? What about How would you answer dicks, that? Too, but. <laughs> you know what? When you go from city to city as much as we do, it's hard to really enjoy where you're at, you mm-hmm. know? So just so just being being present and and, and, and you know, try to try to you know get away and see a sight or something. When you're you know when you're in and out some someplace so quick, it's just it just wow. You, you were you were there? Are you kidding me? You were there? And then you're like, well, yeah, I was there, but I really didn't see what yeah you know, everybody else as a vacationer would go and see it. But um, yeah, it's like you play in Paris, but you never see the Eiffel Tower type so of just, thing. I yeah. mean, this day in in our in my life especially is just just to kind of. Just to enjoy it, mm-hmm. you know, because you don't know how long you're going to be able to do this, really, at the end yeah. of the day. So just enjoy every minute of it and remember it, you know. Remember those audiences. Remember those crowds, you know. Remember, remember how your drummer messed up on stage that night and it was hilarious. Or your bass player <laughs> every night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got, a, I got a fun one here, and then we'll let you guys go. Um, throughout your career, you probably got some weird stuff, cool stuff signed weird requests and what's I guess a whether it be meaningful or funny what's something that stood out to you that a fan has asked you to sign uh, uh god I was just thinking about something the other day maybe like a was that a, I don't want to say this <laughs> oh you can say whatever you it want was, man it was a tampon <laughs> we've never gotten that one before yeah, yeah. what was in the wrapper <laughs> yeah that's a first right there yeah, we've gotten babies and cars. We ne- we haven't gotten that one yet. So we signed a baby. That would be cool, though. Yeah, that's going to make it my mission <laughs> on the rest of this tour baby. to try to sign a baby's forehead before we <laughs> before we get out of here. Pull, pull, pull a Ricky Bobby right there. Exactly. Like, sign oh, you're going to sign your baby's forehead. All right. <laughs> All right, sweet. Well, Alter Bridge, thanks for talking to us today. Cool. We'll thanks, man. See you guys later. Kill it and stuff. Good right luck on. on the tour that you're on and everything. So, uh, and I'm Trent with Soundlink Magazine. Thanks for watching, everybody. Whoa! Come on!